What is up guys, back into today with another reaction to Noko Dan, this time with episode 5. Another really fun episode last time out and uh, looking forward to seeing what we got today. Of course, got absolutely no idea what to expect. Uh, do let me know what you guys think about this one though, down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date. And uh, just going to keep it muted till we're past the opening. So I don't know too much about this, but obviously like most animals, surely um, <laughs> surely uh, deers poop. And there's a lot of deers around. So there must be a lot of poo to clear up. That's one of the only negatives of having them here, I imagine. That and, uh, as I've mentioned a few times, that from what I've seen from the deers in Nara Park, they don't beg, but they like... Almost like expected of treats. <laughs> they expect to be fed by uh, travelers and so on. But yeah, it must be a lot of poo to clean up around the place now. The teachers must have been like, well, obviously, I don't think they care that much. Everyone's quite enamored by uh, Noko Tan, but if I didn't realize what was going on, I'd be like, where are all these fucking poos coming from? Okay, let's get the uh, sound back on. In search of her weakness. Okay. Pretty handy, actually. Who's the love letter from? A sister? Is my first thought. Oh shit, poachers. Americans, of course. That is quite a popular thing to Oh my god. The popular thing to do in America, right? Hunt hunt deer and such. I always do find it quite scary. The fact that there's like. I just think about like two sets of like hunters approaching each other and they think like there's a there's a bear or an animal on the other side and they just end up shooting each other. I don't know. Obviously, very dangerous in general in America going hunting for animals. Not something I'd put myself through, but people do a lot scarier with the whole uh, cave searching and shit like that. Fuck that. Fuck that. I won't be surprised if there's hundreds in your fucking locker. So do you reckon everyone got one? Yeah, again, there's loads of possibilities. Oh, there isn't. Again, I wouldn't have been surprised if there was hundreds in there. That, makes, that doesn't make things any better. Probably true. <laughs> Do you know what? Do you reckon they'd actually like show us some if, if they did end up getting sent any? That's something Gintam would do. Oh, 
what was the show that was airing last season that oh no it's not a show um nana what i've been reading recently has been uh they always address like viewer complaints and such uh not really much complaints but they address like people that send him letters that explain their spelling mistakes in the previous volume and it's like yeah it's a bit of a piss take i find it quite funny I wouldn't be surprised also if this isn't even ah. Oh, I was gonna say if this isn't even addressed to her. It is, but Okay. But yeah, and Nano again they just get like they get sent a bunch of people people send them what spelling mistakes they sent in a uh that they had in a volume. And it's like why would you go all, all the way to the effort of sending a letter? to spelling correct someone so i'm kind of, i i'm really i always really like the segments where like the author seems to kind of like take the piss out of the people that do that a little bit so who the fuck are these three oh delinquents <laughs> yes. Let's go, no Kata. Good foot movement. I I almost would have thought that'd make you weaker. Actually. Oh shit. The classic. Although, the, the spikes in that bat. You, the, she's put them in the wrong way. <laughs> it's not spiky. She's she's made the ends. Don't get me wrong, that's still fucking pierce you. But the spiky side hasn't gone through the other side. Yeah, that's bullshit, isn't it? Three against one was bad anyway, but... Got these weapons. Oh fuck! <laughs> Holy shit! Destroyed the whole building. How was she? Even if she intended on using that, like how? What? <laughs> How did Goshi? Uh, uh, how did Nogotan intend her to use that? Just to blow Elm all up, along with herself. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a dang good thing as a comedy. Okay, again, how the hell did she intend on her using that? I guess we'll never find out. It worked, I guess, though. No way it was used. Ugh. What a disguise that is. Why wouldn't she not? Would she not? Even if it was actually disguising her, she'd not notice there's some woman with a big old hat staring at her. Well, do, do deers have homes? It's just a natural habitat. Taste the sink. Anchors. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's a banana holder. I never had one of those, but I, there was kids at school that um, I did. Thought were pretty cool. Also, yeah, I do think I'm pretty sure. Again, I'm not an expert on deers or antlers or anything, but I'm pretty sure like antlers do grow back, don't they? <clears throat> I think they. I think some deers like break them off purposely so they can regrow or something on those lines. Yeah, I'm not really sure. 
this is like the natural habitat. <laughs> does the does the narrator voice the other deers? Kind of sounds like him. Really? <laughs> I don't. Uh, yeah, I love the fact that we had them anyway. But we actually had to give them to these. They pay for them and then they give them to us. It's a scab, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Imagine that. Has anyone ever had it? Well, probably, yeah, with the whole antlers and maybe a deer being a little bit aggressive. But I was going to say, has anyone ever really had a bad time with a deer? A bad experience? Well, as I said, I'm, I imagine there are some. Probably very rare, but getting hit by those antlers would hurt. Just make you wonder, doesn't it? Has anyone ever died from a deer? You know, at least, well, obviously at least one person in history, surely, but has there ever been a recorded event of someone dying to a deer? Has a human ever been cloned? Well, why is that the first fucking... Ever... Oh, I say that, look what I'm typing. <laughs> died to a deer. Yes, they can, but I want to know if they have. How many people die to this a year? Ah, oh, well, this doesn't really count. This this just says like between ten and twenty people are killed. A year but this is just driving accidents with deer so I guess in a sense yeah <laughs> but again that's I think that's more more so the humans fault crashing into the deer so I guess there's not really an answer maybe it maybe because there is years where no one dies to deer again I imagine it's rare but I've got to imagine every like 10 years or so at least one person gets like brutalized by a deer or a pack of deer or something. Again, I've seen a nasty video of a deer with another deer's head decapitated, stuck in its horns. <laughs> it looked brutal. I imagine it could perhaps do that to a human's head as well. I do quite like this outfit. Reminds me a little bit of Ada Wong. <laughs> but that's you know fun. And what what other animal are you allowed out of the enclosure? So I I always do get scared of those like enclosure. I've never been to a zoo where this has been the case, but those enclosures where it's just like lower down, so you like look down upon the animal, especially when there's like tigers or something in there. I feel like they could, if they really wanted to, they could just jump out, even if it is like three or four meters high.
again i want to see these other variations of the deer that we see in the opening the one with like the white beard and there's like gray That was actually quite nice, wasn't it? Good. Good. Oh, look who's here. Nekoyama. Neko wow, it's double Neko. Nekoyama and Neko. Wow. Didn't even realise that last week. Well, I could imagine deers probably wouldn't like cats, would they? That was the most I saw. Uh, it's, it's almost a bit surprising they don't get that many requests even out of just like pure interest in what the hell is a deer club I do think an actual deer club would be quite relaxing Naka naka. Neko nama neko. It's very similar vein of names. I think Sh Shika is the uh, Japanese for deer, isn't it? <laughs> what? What does that even mean? That was just a diss to humanity, wasn't it? There's a lot of tools you can use here. Oh. She's cute, this guy, isn't she? She's kind of there that went nasty, I think. 
terms of her uh, her objective. Just like real cats. The old Naruto run. Ooh. They actually can, like I said. Maybe, maybe not that to that degree, but <laughs> it is true. I think she's a cat. Does she? It's like we're trying to turn a girl who's a cat into a deer. Very strange, isn't it? And she's already kind of got antlers. Those little hair things. Her thinking like that influence Sheikas. <laughs> I'm not sure why you're so happy about that. Oh, I see. They're trying to brainwash her. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, how the hell does her thoughts have any effect on Sheikah? Fucking hell. <laughs> She's been so brainwashed. I think she's happy. No, you haven't. Oh, it doesn't mean you haven't discovered anything. She did. She did discover quite a bit. She discovered that her sister's part of the club. She discovered what the actual club does. And yeah, <laughs> not too much else apart from that. That was nice though. Again, I really like her. I really like her design. I think it's really cute. Red's my favourite colour as well, so that probably uh, has some influence in there. As you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of cats, so I guess that says quite a lot. Oh, yeah, good episode today. Really good episode today. It's a nice animation during some of the fight scenes there as well, especially, uh, I thought. I mean, it's all, this show's always got some pretty good animation. It's not, not anything incredible, don't get me wrong, but it's always pretty pretty damn good quality. Of course, it's a bit of like a meme show, so it doesn't lead into that too much, but when it wants to, it can look very nice in, in terms of like fight animation and such, can't it? Show me the deer already. This is the only reason I watched this ending. To see those cute-ass deer. Hey, there we go. The one wish I do have about this show is that we had a bit more of this, what we see here, just like some cute dearness. <laughs> Deer's just being cute. But yeah, thank you guys, Fortune. Um, I think we might see in the end there, like uh, what I was talking about was like the deers regrowing their antlers. 
um, you see like some like this where they're, they're like really short and they're like I've heard I've also heard I think I'm not sure if it's the case with deer but some like horned creatures when their horns kind of like I think goats have this where their horns grow and then they they actually come back round and actually end up growing through their head and like killing them so their own horns kill them which is pretty nuts that's why uh, deer probably cut off their horns at a certain length or something so that that doesn't happen perhaps or perhaps they're just like too heavy so they have to I think they like I don't I'm not sure if they like ram into into a tree but I think they like try and like snap it off on like a tree a big tree and they like try and snap it off and then they grow back but there's one in the back here that I think you, you see here maybe these are cut off physically by a human perhaps here because they it looks pretty smooth but this this deer's horns are actually like like cut off and it's like perfectly kind of straight cut right there at the back where I'm circling in the top right so I think that's the case, but yeah. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, really good, uh, really good episode today. Uh, do let me know you guys think of this one uh, in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. I'll be back next week for episode six. I'll see you then. And have a good rest of your day.